This is the directions for today. This way. I'm Matt Green. I've walked more than 9,000 miles. In my quest to walk every block of every street in the five boroughs of New York City. I'm trying to walk every block of every public street, but also every park, every cemetery, as much shoreline as I can walk, bridges, boardwalks. It's kind of the point of the whole thing that, you know, any block's the same as any other block. So a dead end street out here in Queens is, is just as important as walking through Times Square. I've been doing this almost seven and a half years now. I thought this walk would take like two and a half years. I've walked over 9,100 miles, and there's probably a, a couple, a few hundred left, so I'm probably about 95% done. I don't know why I'm doing this. I've just like found myself through my life drawn to people who are doing these crazy things that are equally stupid and amazing. You could call it either and you would be right. It doesn't matter if other people understand. I don't even understand it, but I just, I just want to do it. I used to be a civil engineer without ever really feeling fulfilled, so I quit that job. I have no apartment, so I figured at the beginning I could cobble together a couple years of sleeping on couches. <laughs> and then people started asking me about watching their cats when they were gone. So I'll have some much longer stays in a, in a certain apartment doing some nominally useful thing for the person. There's a part of uh, Goodfellas that was shot underneath the tracks here. New York is its own universe. This over here is a glacial kettle pond. It's gone from walking every day to spending the vast majority of my time learning about the stuff that I saw on my last walk. What's that building? A German restaurant bar kind of thing in the 1800s. What's the history of this place? What's this weird thing on the street used for? This thing used to hold a little mailbox. Is this tucked back? Yeah. So the world's really fascinating. Boring. It's just a matter of opening your eyes to it. I never, beat up. never got beat up, never got mugged, unless you're about to mug me. So it's turned into this thing that's a lot bigger than the walking itself. Jeremy is, you know, an old friend of mine. Two and a half years into my New York walk, he just came to me and said, hey, could I come walk with you a little bit, bring my camera, just see what I could capture. Ended up, you know, on and off for like three and a half years. He had like 600 hours of footage. And he eventually shaped it into this, this documentary. The World Before Your Feet. He had worked with Jesse Eisenberg. He liked the movie and just wanted to help kind of get it out in the world. It was his idea. <laughs> It is certainly a funny contrast to go from spending most of my time like alone out wandering around the world. Thanks everybody. To like doing interviews and events and things like that. The real heart of it all was just that someone else created this like document of this thing I've been doing and like did it in this way that is so much better than I could ever do. It's been really transformative. You can actually do a lot more in life than you thought. Lots of ways to like be alive in the world, you know? It's ostensibly the stupidest thing I've ever done, <laughs> right? It's the most pointless thing you could imagine, and yet somehow it makes me feel more alive. I think we all have something inside us that's telling us to, to do something, to head in a certain direction. I think if you follow that without worrying about how stupid it is, you're probably better off for it. So that's my story.